I've, have you got lazy bastard syndrome? Uh, what I mean by that is um, uh, I get it. I, I see it. People doing it all the time, and I hear of people doing it all the time. Um, and um, I've decided to call it lazy bastard syndrome. Um, you can call it what you want, really. Basically, it's when people um, people that you, you'll get people either um, that are non-clients or um, or are just thinking about getting into fitness, and they'll, and they'll ask you a question about uh, how much PT and is now your average price for a PT is around about twenty or around this area anyway. It's about twenty five to thirty pound um, per session. Um, now, when you tell people this, a lot of them they never get back to you again. A lot of them you never hear from a lot of them again, um, or even people that are that do already train, um, they'll ask you prices and so, whatnot, and they'll never get back to you. Even even for classes, they'll ask you a price for a class, and and say you uh, say someone's putting on a class for say five pound a person or or something that's probably about average price um, around this area. Um, they won't bother because they don't want to spend that little bit of money on uh, improving themselves on getting fit. Yet, the same people will then will go out. Um, they might go to the cinema or or they'll go out at the weekends with their mates. Um, now I know people that will go out at the weekend with their mate and they'll spend fifty, sixty, up to a hundred pound on alcohol, um, and because. They're going to the gym maybe two, three, maybe up to four times a week. Um, but because they're pissing it all away, uh, because by the way, guys, if you're getting pissed all the time, you ain't going to get any of them fucking gains. They ain't going to come. Alcohol is just going to wipe all that work that you've just done in the gym. It's going to wipe it all out, just to let you know, by the way. Um, they say, I think I think there's, there was something I read a while ago that on average... Um, one piss up is going to cost you about six days of training, so it's going to set you back about six days of tra worth of training. So if you're going to the gym um, for three or four days and then uh, in the week and then going out at the weekend, you might as well not fucking bother going, going to the gym in the first place, just wasting your time, um, basically. Um, but they'll go out and then they're not getting the gains that they want because they're pissing them all away. Um, so what they'll do is they'll go and spend 40, 50, 60, probably even more on uh, supplements um, and think that the supplements are going to help them. Well, I've got news for you. Don't matter what fucking supplement you're taking. If you're taking alcohol, you are not going to get the gains that you want. Uh, a lot of supplements, if you read them, will say do not use with alcohol. Um, and, I mean... I'm not a supplement person anyway, I've got nothing against supplements, I just think they're used in the wrong way. I think 99% of people use them in, in completely the wrong way. Um, supplements should be a tool, um, just basically a tool that you can call on. Um, it's like if you've got a fucking hammer in your toolbox, it doesn't mean you have to use it for every fucking job, does it? But people uh, people don't really think about it and they just think, oh, to gain muscle you need to uh, use supplements, you need to use protein shakes, which is absolute bullshit. Um, they will actually hinder your um, gains, actually, um, because the way that people use them are completely wrong. But anyway, that's a different story. So yes, so my def definition of uh, lazy bastard is someone that won't pay money to improve their body but will imp will pay money to destroy their body um, because they're too fucking lazy to do the hard work um, that it involves on keeping your nutrition good and training good uh, majority of people will just simply uh, go oh no I can't be bothered with the hard work I'll just pay money to um, for some supplements that aren't going to fucking work in the long that aren't going to work anyway and um, and then go and piss it up the wall anyway, so it doesn't make any fucking difference. If you want your, uh, if you want a beach body, do you really think that adding probably a good thousand plus calories in alcohol is going to give you a beach body? Because majority of guys, that's what majority of guys want is a fucking beach body. So uh, that ain't gonna fucking work. Peace.